Well, hello there to my Leos. Happy Sunday to each and every one of you all. Happy holidays to those of you who celebrate holidays. Happy Sunday. You may be watching this on Saturday. We are getting closer and closer. We just steps away. We're already in the full moon phase. We're already in the full moon phase. So you're already feeling it, right? Downloads, dreams, feeling super sensitive about everything, which is a good thing. And um, <clears throat> hopefully you all are focused on your emotions, are focused on joy, the things that give you joy, that increase your joy, your happiness, and all those things. Like just gratitude, right? Let's get into it. Let's get into it, Leos. The moon is moving into Gemini, and then it'll move into Cancer. Yes, Gemini's most likable trait is their responsiveness. And um, like you, Gemini is a divine masculine side. A default duality is divine masculine. Their energy is directed outward. They're just in a different element. They're air sign. You all are fire sign. Um, and their mutable sign and your fixed sign. And uh, then the moon will move into Cancer. And Cancer's um, most likable uh, trait is their loyalty, right? And so Source is saying Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. And so this is where you're more loyal to your purpose. This is where Source really wants you to get into really being loyal to your purpose here. So this is what leads it off, your emotions, right? Your creativity, so this is what I was talking about. This is what the energy has already been clear, being in the posture of gratitude. I'm so grateful to source that the past is behind me. And even though Mercury is currently retrograde and the moon is moving into Gemini and Gemini is ruled by Mercury, Mercury, I mean, retrograde is really a good thing. I did a whole series on retrograde on my second channel, the knowledge channel. That link is below. Um, everybody's, uh, six month prediction video will be going up on Patreon and it's very in depth, right? Six months walking you from January through the phases of January all the way through June and the phases through June. So if you're on Patreon, thank you for supporting me here and thank you for supporting me there. But what's leading this reading for you right now is your, are your emotions of gratitude, um, knowing that you were born to inspire moving forward. Here we also have the Queen of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and then also the Ten of Wands, right? So this is where you're sitting on your throne, carefully vetting your thoughts about yourself and about other people. And then this is going to be a real game changer for you all because Source is saying to you, <clears throat> you've been working really, really hard to earn more money. This is Knight of Pentacles and also Page of Pentacles and more money is coming across your path. But this is what's going to speed up the process. Not only gratitude for being able to inspire and motivate people and bring joy into their lives, right? Because you are focused on what brings joy into your life. This right here, Queen of Swords, is the real game changer right here because King Queen energy is like, if I can't help you, if I can't speak into your life without the sarcasm, the messiness, who hurt me, who, who did all, if I can't speak life into you and to inspire you, if I can't use my fire, your fire sign and you along with your air, your thoughts, my thoughts are positive. I find the, the silver lining. I don't, I don't have anything negative to say about anybody. There's no shade, no sarcasm, no, none of that. That's what's going to speed up somebody's money. Your third eye is wide open and source is trying to make you book and busy and not burden at all. See, some people cannot lift up somebody without saying something negative about somebody. You know, the shade. I help everybody, but you know, some people, they just something wrong with them. Blah, blah. You know, I, I, you know, I, they come from such and such kind of family. So it's just like, that's going to slow your money up. There has to be this purity really in your heart chakra where your head and heart are not at war with each other because this air element begins the beginning of the higher chakras all the way up to your crown chakra. If I say something negative about them, I'm saying it about myself. I, I, I'm not trying to hurt another human being. If I don't have anything positive to say to help lift them up on their throne, I'm not making disparaging comments about people. And so that's what's going to change it for people. So when you're saying I'm grateful that the past is behind me, there is no but. I'm just grateful. I'm grateful to source that the past is behind me. I learned whatever lessons I needed to learn. I'm carefully vetting my thoughts. I'm not speaking into existence unless it's something unless I want it to come back to me. 
So that's what I'm seeing here. Booked and busy, not burdened. That's where your money is going to come from. Booked and busy and not burdened at all. Your third eye is wide open. Pay attention to that because that fire right there is as something has increased somebody's prayer life. <clears throat> something has increased somebody's prayer life. It's behind me and it's time for me to move forward. Yep, that's what's going to do it. That's what's going to do it. Gratitude speeds up those blessings. I'm, glad, I'm grateful that something's behind me. I desired something. I um, I had a feeling about something. I believed something. And whether it worked in my favor or not, didn't work in my favor, worked or didn't work in my favor, I, you know what? It's behind me. I've, I've made a decision to move forward, right? So, because otherwise, if you decide to land on the dark side of it, you're carrying somebody else's burdens as well. So not only are you booked and busy, you're burdened and bitter. Light side of everything, even the, the number 10, words have power. So whatever you're speaking out of your mouth, you're instantly manifesting it. And that's what Source has been trying to tell somebody is 10 and 1, 11, step through that pillar, get off the fence, make a decision to speak life into only thing which you want to come back. Nothing positive. I mean, nothing negative. Eight of Wands. Everything is fine. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Hierophant card, the Strength card, and also the Ace of Pentacles, right? Source is saying, you know, as far as somebody's religious beliefs, um, you know, it's, it's when you, when you kind of like is, is fixed signs, you could have religious belief that calls you to be reactive. Right. And, but this is the reason why somebody's prayer life had to be increased. And I'm not talking religion here, but somebody's here. We have the, um, eight of wands is because source is trying to help you speed up, you know, get away from, you know, come out of the, this is the ace and nine. So, you know, to come out of that storm, that, that, um, come out of that being lost and come out of that darkness, that, that being dogmatic and prideful and it's, and it's my will, the highway, and I got to live by all 10 commandments. I mean, all, whatever the, the, the religious, whatever source is saying, when you recognize there's many resources, that's going to help you to that inner light within yourself, which is source, then you'll start to appreciate all of it, the, the light and the dark, all of it is a choice. And so now that you're in the light about things and you're focusing on your legacy, you and your person, whoever your person is, you're focusing on your legacy wealth. And again, here's again, 11, I'm stepping into the light and I'm using, I'm using my time wisely <clears throat> instead of taking away time. So it's just been trying to make me financially independent and so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not squandering my time. I don't have anything negative to say, no sarcasm, even if people were to come back and say, but I thought you said this about them. I thought you said that about them. That was then, but this is now I'm in my light. So source is saying to you, everything is fine because while you may have been thinking that people were praying on you, there were been people that were praying for you. They already know that you're hurt because hurt begets hurt. Unless you're thinking about, unless you're focusing on healing. People have recognized that somebody must be in some kind of pain to be to act the way that they're acting. <clears throat> Not that it's excusable. Source is saying to you, but everything is fine. Some people see hurt people and they run in the opposite direction. They're like, mm -mm, I don't want to have anything to do with that. I already know what that looks like. Nope. I've already committed to being in my light. Um, and then some people, they will stick around. So whatever the situation is, Source is saying to you, raise your frequency. If you're on the throne of your thoughts, you got to carefully vet your thoughts. Page of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Swords. We also have the Eight of Swords and then also the Ten of Wands again and then also the King of Wands. <clears throat> there's somebody who's watching you. Somebody is watching to see if there's any weaknesses. So there's somebody who is watching to see if you got something negative to say about some things because that will send you back into a wilderness situation. That'll, that'll drive you crazy. You know, that's like a person who's talking out, double talking out the side of their mouth. A person that's like, imagine, imagine what I'm, what I mean, what I mean by this. Um, cause then I'm looking at your cars here. So three and eight is, um, 11, right? Again, we have pillars, right? So you've seen 11, three times so far. So it's just saying to you, imagine you, you telling people, you know, um, you smiling in somebody's face, but then as soon as they turn their head, people see you roll their eyes and somebody catches that. They're like, 
Wait a minute. I thought I thought Leo was cool with them. Like, okay, well, so there's a backstory to all of this. That's what Source is saying. <clears throat> you really can't. You can't really fake what's in your heart. The head and heart are already at war with each other. That's why Source is saying, learn to forgive whoever hurt you in the past, so it does that hurt doesn't come out on other people. Here we have the Ten of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Two of Wands. And so Source is saying, take a leap into faith into the future. I see you being double booked and busy instead of burden. Um, you know, even if you want to say that somebody is crazy, you know, see how this person is sitting on the beach. They can't even enjoy themselves. They can't even relax. So they can't even take a vacation and relax because they're so heartbroken and so deeply disappointed. Don't even realize that you got a bunch of ancestors around you trying to help you. So here we have the two in page of wands. So it's just saying, take a leap of faith into the future. Get away from treacherous energies. And uh, here are the questions for the moon and Gemini. First question is, do you feel there's an area in, in uh, there, you feel like there's an area of your life in need of radical change, like work, your relationship, your well-being, your home. The second question is, what is getting in the way of you changing your story? Third question is, how could you inject more childlike curiosity into your life? The fourth question is, who are the five people? That could be like five books that you read, five podcasts, whatever, five physical people, whatever, five people. Um, you could get in touch with who could help you on your journey, who could help you on your journey. So... Yep, who could help you on your journey? Zero, zero, zero. Close it out tight. I am a creator. So you are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve. Um, you have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth. So if there's energies around you that's causing you to be reactive instead of responsive, like there are energies that, you know, your religious, religious beliefs, well, mm, that's devil worship before you even get a chance to even do the research and your, your, um, being in your feminine energy and saying, okay, let me do the research and see the light and dark. Mm, that's witchcraft. Mm, that's such and such because of religious belief, right? Man-made doctrine instead of whatever biblical doctrine or whatever you believe in, uh, whatever, whatever spiritual books you believe in. So it's just saying, take a minute to be in your feminine energy and be in receiving mode, do the research and see that there's a light and dark side to everything. That's why there are two people that can go to the same church. And one person says, you know what? This church hurts. Is, this church hurt is too Church hurt is so overwhelming that I'm never going to church again. These people are this and that and so on and so forth. Well, you may feel like this is my church home. So source is saying when you get into that, that being dogmatic and prideful and I'm sitting there like a Sadducees or a Philistine and you're sitting there like, okay, I'm so judgmental. I'm so arrogant. Mm, I'm this and you're comparing yourselves to people. Source is going to show you a different way. And, um, and so, like I said before, this person can't enjoy life because this person's sitting there so heartbroken and so deeply disappointed by things. And so it's just saying, it's time for you to step through that light, get off the fence. There's more way of, there's more ways of getting to, um, source. There's more resources. There's a lot of different resources and ways to getting to that light inside of yourself. And so I feel like that's what you are going to be teaching people. That's going to be part of the healing process. Um, and it, so it doesn't come across as I'm so religious that if something were to be exposed, yikes. All right. So here we have affirmations for awareness. I am whole. I am present. I am where I need to be. I am focused. I'm living in the present moment. I'm grateful for this life. I release mental clutter. Mental blocks are being cleared. That is what I have for you. I will see you all on Motivational Monday. Again, happy holidays to each and every one of you all. Focus on what matters most. And that's your joy, your happiness, your peace of mind, all of those under wonderful things, Leos. And I will see you all on um i'll see you all on motivational monday bye